Hey everyone, Morgan here. We're going to talk about an interesting piece of glassware today called the Erlenmeyer flask. Now an Erlenmeyer flask is not designed for measuring, it's designed for holding. And we can carry out reactions in them too, especially in a technique called titration. You can look up the titration video to see that. So it has this interesting shape that kind of flares up and inward so that the opening is not very large. So if we have one liquid in here and we're dropping another one in and it splashes, this shape helps to retain the liquids inside. Often what we'll do in especially the technique called titration is we will swirl the flask as we are adding something and that's a way of stirring it. Now, we do occasionally store liquids in an Erlenmeyer flask. You can put a rubber stopper in the top of an Erlenmeyer flask. Now that's great except for liquids that have high vapor pressures that might actually turn that into a cannon. In that case, what we do is we take a small beaker and we put that on the top so that if gas pressure builds up inside, it just comes over the top and works its way downwards, okay? So that would be a liquid like an alcohol or an ether that might have a high vapor pressure. All right, so that's the Erlenmeyer flask. Thanks for tuning in. This is Morgan signing off.